in this video we are talking about the transactions and the question is we have to find the serializable view serializable and conflict equivalent schedule so the schedule is given t1 and t2 these are the two transactions so you have to check whether the schedule is view serializable or if the schedule is conflict equivalent okay so first of all we will see the conflict equivalent schedule so for conflict equivalent schedule we will uh, check here the operations or the instructions which are conflicting so what instructions that we have to concentrate on there are two transactions t1 and t2 so for co conflict equivalent means you have to find conflict serializable so conflict equivalent is nothing but if suppose you want conflict equivalent so you should be able to find if the schedule is conflict serializable or not so in other words we have to check whether the schedule is conflict serializable or not so i hope you know the conflict serializable schedule so what we have to uh, check here see underline all the right operations okay so this is right operation this is right operation this is right operation and this is the right operation so what we have to check we have to check whether this right operation as a pair write and read pair for the two transactions okay now see this right operation is on a so we have to check it is in t2 so we have to check in t1 if there is any operation on a so variable a is being read here okay so this is the sequence is like this read write okay now this this is from t1 read at a is t1 and write at a is at t2 so if you draw the graph here that is called as precedence graph so for this checking this we have to call we have to find out the precedence graph okay precedence graph we have to draw so in precedence graph there will be two vertices vertex t1 and vertex t2 because there are two transactions okay so we have found that this is the arrow from t1 to t2 read a and write a okay so this operation goes from t1 to t2 okay so direction is like this now check another right operation though this right operation is at t1 which is on variable a so we have to check on t2 is there any read operation on variable a yes this is the read operation occurring before this right so this arrow will be this side or else again you can check any other operation on variable a in t2 yes this is the right operation so again arrow is from this way to this way so t2 to t1 also there is one arrow right so so this precedence graph you have drawn and you can observe that this precedence graph has the cycle so it is forming a cycle this way okay so if the precedence graph is having cycle the transaction is not serializable so this transaction this schedule schedule actually is not serializable so this schedule is not serializable not serializable means we cannot create a serial equivalent schedule of this by exchanging the conflict instructions okay so conflicting instructions you cannot exchange or you cannot interchange those instructions so we cannot have the serializable schedule so that's why we cannot have the conflict equivalent of this schedule so if you want the conflict equivalent this is not possible so we can write the answer that if you convert the schedule into conflict equivalent it is not possible because it is not possible to have the serial schedule of these two transactions okay this was about conflict equivalent now we will check whether the schedule is view serializable or not okay for checking the schedule view serializable what you need to concentrate on so suppose in view we check these three instructions which are the first read write read conflict and final write okay so we have to find these sequences so first read so t1 is reading what first variable a so we have to write here t1 is reading variable a first right then check b is read, read where first b is being read at t2 okay so t2 is reading so b who is reading fresh copy of b t2 so this is the sequence of first read so variable a is being read by t1 and variable b is read, read by t2 right then we have to check write read conflict means producer consumer type right so underline all write so this is one write 
this is another right and third right fourth right okay but you can see here after writing there is no read operation means here variable in transaction t2 variable a is being written but it is not read means read operation is not present in t1 after this means in other words suppose if you consider this write a right it is in t2 right it is in t2 so we have to find in t1 if there are any instruction which is reading a no there is no instruction which is reading a likewise suppose this is the write a in t1 we have to check in t2 if any read operation is there so there is no read operation so we can conclude that write read conflict is not existing in this case so there is no any write read conflict now check for this final write so final write who is making final write okay so so final write on b is made by t2 and final write on a is made by c one write here or another right here so t1 is making final write on a right and t2 is making what final write on b okay now see these are the sequences that we have found so these are called as uh, the sequences of view now we have to check suppose we are able to convert this transaction into serial transaction serial means t1 then t2 okay A serial transaction means t1 all the instruction of t1 will occur first and then all the instruction of t2 will occur so that is called a serial transaction or in other words all the instructions of t2 t2 will occur first and then the instructions of t1 will occur so that is called a serial but the transaction which or transactions which are there in this schedule are concurrent so suppose if we are able to convert this concurrent schedule into serial so how you can imagine to convert this into serial likewise this now suppose all these blocks of instructions you are able to put here right and all these remaining blocks of instructions of t2 are occurring let's say after this t1 okay so t t1 will be occurring first so imagine that this this we have the converted like this okay so this is a serial schedule that we have converted okay so it's just for understanding we have to imagine like this suppose we are able to convert this schedule like this okay so what what is what we have to check here suppose we have now converted this into serial schedule so check if this uh, sequence of view serializable instructions this three instructions this three set of instruction that first read write read conflict and final read is this preserved in this serial schedule or not okay so check now we will be checking this in this now newly updated schedule t1 occurring first and then t2 occurring right now see t1 is reading fresh copy of a so here is t1 is reading fresh copy of a that is a is read by t1 t2 is reading fresh fresh copy of b okay so where b is being read here first read of b is occurred at t1 okay so this violates here this is violating here so this rule is not valid right now second check second write read conflict it was not present in earlier schedule now see final write who is making final write in earlier schedule same should make the final write here also so what what is the sequence that t1 is making final write on a so earlier t1 was making final write on a variable so check if here final write of a who is making see here one write of a is occurring here another write of a so here t2 is making final write not t1 so this again this is not valid so this is not valid so we will strike out here this was not valid right then check for if t2 is making final write on b so write on b first write on b occurring here second write on b occurring here so yes here t2 is making but here we will check that this this is not t2 first read is not possible okay and this was not possible that is final write so this two violated so as this two violated so we can conclude that 
this schedule is not view serializable so you can conclude that the schedule is neither view serializable nor conflict equivalent okay so when we call view serializable or view equivalence two schedules are view equivalent if they have the same initial read updated value and final write for each data item right a view equivalent schedule is a also serializable but we are not able to convert it into serial schedule so you can conclude that this schedule is neither view serializable not conflict equivalent hope you understood this thank you